super excited to show you my summer 2019 collective haul. It's gonna have lots of good stuff featuring brands like Gucci, Aritzia, Lily Silk. If that interests you, I'd love for you to keep watching. The first thing I am going to show you guys is something from Gucci. So the video before this, I did a Gucci bag unboxing and that was my very first Gucci bag and I definitely got bit by the Gucci bugs. But there is kind of a backstory to this purchase which I will talk about but first things first let's just show you the goodies. So this is a true unboxing. I literally have not taken this out of the bag since I got it. And ta-da! Can you guys guess what it is? So I guess this is this is the receipt. Okay and in true unboxing fashion let's open this up. Oh my goodness. So it's packaged like this <laughs> in the box. And the little baggie is so cute. You guys probably know what it is already because obviously it is not a bag, it's not shoes. It is a Gucci belt. Ooh, look how gorgeous that is. So I know I am late to the Gucci belt train. Everybody and their mother has a Gucci belt. Gucci belts are like the staple in everybody's wardrobe, especially on Instagram, on Pinterest. I am super late to this, but I finally got myself a Gucci belt and I got the smallest one. So this is the mini one and unraveling it. This is what it looks like. Though I'm sure everybody already knows what a Gucci belt looks like. I did get it in the black the other side and I got this in the size 80 I believe so when I was in the store I tried it on like around my hips and then on my waist because I did see some people um, like on Instagram wearing coats and then but they put a Gucci belt on and just looked so good so I was like I want a belt where I can put it on my hips and on my waist but then when I was trying it on the lady like the sales associate was like you can't have a belt that fits both and I'm like are you sure? <laughs> because I'm sure not everyone has like two belts where one cinches the waist and then one cinches the hips. Because girl. So I was trying on the 75 and the 80 and the 75 it did fit but then she was like well you don't want to be uncomfortable when sitting down and I was like okay. <laughs> so I went with the 80. So this belt was $420 Canadian which I think is not too bad for a staple that I know is going to be in my wardrobe basically forever. And the story behind this belt is if you have been here for a while, then you kind of know that I try to justify my luxury purchases. <laughs> if I'm going to be dropping like hundreds or thousands of dollars on a luxury purchase, I do need to justify it for myself. I can't just go around dropping that money willy-nilly. So for those who don't know, I am a pharmacist and I do love to keep learning and try to better myself especially in my profession so I do try to get extra certifications and I just recently wrote a test to get this certification and all while studying I was like if I pass this exam I'm gonna get myself a Gucci belt. I did write the exam at the end of May and we're supposed to get the results beginning of July and I was actually in Calgary this past weekend and my city basically has like the worst like luxury stores we don't have a gucci and our whole rent view is basically closing down so when i was in calgary their whole rent view is massive four floors and it's just amazing and they have their own gucci store so i went in there i was like okay i'll just go in there and just try it on <laughs> and see what size i am so i tried it on and basically i fell in love and i was like you know what i'm just gonna buy the belt i don't know if i passed i'm just gonna buy the belt the back of my head i was like what if i fail do i have to return the belt that is my story of why I purchased a Gucci belt. For some people, they may think like, oh, $400, that is not a lot, especially to a pharmacist, blah, blah, blah. But like I said, I do like to justify my luxury purchases because if I didn't, I would just be spending 
thousands of dollars on luxury purchases. Next up, I have a couple of pieces from Lily Silk, and Lily Silk was kind enough to send me three pieces to show you guys, and in the spirit of summer, I did request three tank tops or camisoles, which I thought would be amazing for summer, and I think it's just a staple that should be in everyone's wardrobe. So the very first piece is this silk camisole which I think is gorgeous. So the straight neckline is very in right now for summer and I think the thin straps are also very, very in for summer. And of course, when I do love something, I try to get it in every color. So basically, I selected the same shirt from Lily Silk in all three colors. <laughs> so this is the first color. And next up is this gorgeous, look how gorgeous this is. This is kind of like a burnt orange kind of color. And I think this is just gorgeous. Like, can I say gorgeous? Any more times. I love this so much. Like I think this would look amazing with like jean skirt, jean shorts, and I think it really just like brings up my skin tone. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. And at first I was just gonna get the white and black. Oh, spoiler alert, the next color is white. <laughs> but then I saw the burnt orange and I was like, no, I have to get that one too. And then of course for me, Black and whites are a staple in my wardrobe, so of course I had to get it in white. These are just so high quality and they're 100% silk and they just feel amazing. And white is such a classic color, right? Thank you so much Lily Silk for gifting me these items. If you would love to check out Lily Silk, I will place a link down below with a discount code. Alright, next up, what kind of haul would it be without Aritzia? And Aritzia just had their clientele sale, which is basically like a VIP sale or whatever that they have twice a year, I believe. And of course I had to pick up some items because I can really only justify shopping at Aritzia now when there are sales. Low key, I used to work there and I used to get a discount, so now I like can't bring myself to buy things full price. So I only really purchase things when they're on sale. All right, first up from Aritzia is this gorgeous skirt. I love this skirt. I love the detail. Look at that knot detail. Like how cute is that? And this is in a plaid kind of gray greenish pattern. And I think it just is such a good spin on like your regular plaid skirt. I pair this with like t-shirts, with camisoles, with anything and sneakers, boots, heels, whatever. It just goes with literally anything and I think this is such a good staple to have in everybody's wardrobe. This is from the brand Babaton. I got this in a size 4. I think this is called the Jethro skirt. <laughs> I'll place the names and links of everything down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. But yeah, this fits like a glove and it's just amazing and I definitely recommend this to everyone. Next up is this silk camisole from Maritzia. And this is a V-line kind of style. And it's kind of in a creamish color. This is from the brand Wilfred, which is 100% my favorite brand from Maritzia. I would literally wear every single piece in the Wilfred line or the Wilfred Free line. Like every single piece from that line is just gorgeous. And that is my style in a clothing line. <laughs> this definitely fits into my wardrobe. And do I need all these silk camis? Probably not, but I just couldn't help myself. I am sweating. Oh my god. So three more pieces from Ritzia that I basically just got in the mail are these shorts. So these shorts are from the brand Sunday Best. This is this black color. I don't know if you can see the detailing that there's some ruffles and it's ruffled on the bottom. I think Sunday Best was 30% off or 25% off during the clientele sale. Not 100 percent sure, but originally they are $58. These are called the Gemma Shorts. And I thought these would just be like a super lightweight, kind of chill kind of shorts. The only critique I would say with these shorts is that they're kind of see-through. I don't know if you can see. Kind of see through them. I know that, that is like the worst shot trying to show you guys that that was see through. I would recommend wearing black underwear if you're gonna be wearing these shorts because they are kind of see through. And next from Ritzia is this Wolfred tank top. I know I'm gonna have struggles showing you guys this, but this is the front and the back is basically like a tie around. So 
you guys can see in the try on portion how I style it but this is like awful just to show like on camera like this but it is a wraparound kind of shirt and this was originally $78 and this is the cayenne top you can see there and I thought this would be super cute for like festivals. I know I'm not going to really any festivals this summer. I am going to Chasing Summer, which is a festival rave kind of thing in Calgary. I thought it'd be super cute for that. And I think it's kind of making me step out of my comfort zone because it is a crop top. And then it's also bringing attention to your midriff section. And I don't really show my midriff section all too much, though I am going to the gym and trying to tone up for summer because it is never too late for that beach body, okay? And this just looks so bad, like, trying to show this on Camera. like what is this <laughs> the very last thing from Ritzia is this cardigan and this is from the brand Wilfred Free to be 100% honest I literally just bought this so that my cart would be over $150 and that would have to pay for shipping because with sale items if you buy them in store it is final sale but if you buy them online you do have some leeway I think 14 days to exchange or return so even though it's on sale you can still return it for store credit or exchange it for something else so basically I did buy this so that I wouldn't have to pay for shipping because hell no am I paying eight dollars for shipping and in my mind I was like if it doesn't work out I can return it but if it works out I have a black cardigan and I actually don't have a lot of black cardigans I have a lot of gray cardigans which I do need to step away from because if I have a gray cardigan I can't wear a gray shirt and I have a million gray shirts too. This is just a super simple cardigan and this is the Zlata cardigan and this was originally $78 but I'm sure I did not pay $78 for this. But yeah, just a super simple long cardigan. It is a three quarter length sleeve and it's just super soft and I just thought it's such a good staple to have and again, if I didn't like it, I could return it but I think I am definitely keeping this because it fits really well and then just a great staple to have in my closet. Next up, I have some clothes from Dynamite. And Dynamite, if people don't know, it is affiliated with the brand Garage, and it is a Canadian company. And a lot of their clothes, I would say, are basically copying Aritzia, but at a <laughs> discounted price. So if you don't want to spend like $100 on a tank top or something in Aritzia, you can definitely go to Dynamite and get something very similar. First up is this a white tank top. So these ripped tank tops are super in and Aritzia has them in a million colors, but they're like $50 for one and I basically cannot justify spending $50 on a ripped tank top. <laughs> so I did get this from Dynamite. It isn't super crop where it's just like under the boobs, but it does leave a little bit of your midriff shown. And I think this was buy one get one 50% off, so I did buy two. These have straps and you can wear just like a normal bra, you don't have to wear like a strapless bra like with tube tops. So yeah, I think these are just an effortless look. And of course, if I bought it in white, of course I did buy it in black. <laughs> and this is the black. Sorry if they are a little wrinkly, I just got them out of the wash because I have worn them before. I think this is super cute for like nighttime. I have worn this clubbing and most people think like, oh, you're wearing a ribbed tank top to clubbing. but. It's just cute and it's just easy and it's effortless and it just looks so good. So I do recommend these tank tops wherever you buy them. If you buy them at Ritzia, if you buy them at Dynamite, I'm sure you can buy them at a million other stores. So one last thing from Dynamite is this skirt. And this basically just looks like a black skirt, but let me just tie it up for you guys. Okay, sorry, this is like the most wrinkled, like, <laughs> it'll look better in the try-on, I promise. Like I said, I love skirts, but I love having that extra cute detail that just makes it a lot more stylish. And Aritzia does have a million skirts that have kind of this dye detail, but they're like $120 for one, I believe. And in my heart, I'm like, dude, that is so expensive for a skirt. And yeah, I just cannot get myself to pay that much for a skirt. So I bought this at Dynamite. Love the tie detailing. This basically makes the entire outfit. If you just wear like a t-shirt and then you wear this skirt and it's tied and you wear sneakers, you still look super put together, but you also look very cool and stylish. Okay, one very last item I'm gonna show is from the brand Open Force Cardigan. It has these bat sleeves, 
and it is this wool cardigan. This was $78 from Oakenfort, and this is part of their spring summer line. And you're probably thinking, Lily, why are you buying a thick ass cardigan for the summer? But I bought it because I just thought it would be super cute to put in my wardrobe, and I will just buy it for the season. Like, this would be a great staple for the winter as well. But one critique I have on it is that it sheds like crazy. Like, don't you dare wear black while wearing this. Like, even taking this out now, there's a million little dust things in the air. You'll just look like a furry white dog has rolled all over you. So I don't recommend this with black. But it is super comfy. Alright guys, that's it for my haul today. Thank you so much for watching. I would love for you to let me know what was your favorite item in this haul. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video and you want more haul videos in the future, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button down below. Join my YouTube family. And until next time, bye!